Hello enthusiastic devs, so today in this video we are going to make this cool shopping website using HTML, SAS and vanilla JavaScript. That's cool, right? So first of all, let me show you a glimpse for this project. So it's hoverable, it's scalable and the cards look beautiful. It's completely mobile responsive, so every viewer can just take the amazing look of this website. So. Here, you see that some of the cards are small and big. We will talk about this in this video. And till the end, you will be knowing how we are going to add the cards into this website. What I mean with that is we are not going to add these cards from HTML. We are going to add them through JavaScript. But before starting to code, let's inspect and see its responsiveness. And here it is. This looks nice, right? Now let's start coding for this. So first of all, I will create a holder. That will be dev dev dot product holder. Okay, fine. And in this, we are going to create the card for our website. So first of all, I will create a dot card. And in this card, we are going to have an image. So here will here here's the image. And I will take an image from Unsplash. So let me go to it. Unsplash, then here, shoes. Fine. I'll take this image. Copy image link. And that's it. And in the alt, I will give shoe. Okay, fine. Shoes. Good enough, right? And after this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a next div which will contain all the, all the text of the card. So I'll create a dot dot card text card text and that's it. And in this div we will be having all our text regarding to the card. So first of all it will be a p that is a paragraph with a class of category text. It will tell about the category of the product. Okay, fine. And in here, I will give men's sport shoes. Fine. And after this, we will have a H2 class. H2 class and it will be brand text. Brand text. And after this, I will give here Nike. And then we have H5, the rating of the product. So H5. And here I will have some stars so I can copy the stars from a website called get emoji okay in this we can have the stars if I search for star here and here it is let me copy it and I will paste them here four stars okay fine and then I will give a P class and then price text price text and here i will give some price so a rupee 2000 fine and after this we have p class offer text and this will have offer 50 percent off 50 percent off that's fine and that's our card now let me show you and it's our card now we have to work for the style sheet so let's go for it i have created a sas file and you too can and the other files are already created okay nothing to worry and then i will give the basic styling and here i will make the margin zero padding zero and box sizing border border box fine and I will give a font family of Apple system and that's fine and a basic letter spacing of around 0 0.5 let's make it 0 0.3 pixels so that it's not much and okay and after this we just need to go to body and then we just need to give it a background so I'm selecting some random colors. So I will give RGB and it would be 70, 42, 
70, 42, and 42. Okay. And after this, I will create a card that is dot. Not the card, we will select this element that is the product holder. Okay. Dot product holder. And we will turn its display to be flex. Okay. And after this, we will give flex wrap. Flex wrap. Wrap. And after that, we have align items to the center and the justify content to the center. Not, not center, it should be space around. I will tell you the complete functionality of this later on. So just watch the video. And after that, I want I just want to create a card. Not create, just style the card. And first of all, I'll make the cursor pointer. So that whenever the user hover over, he should see a pointer cursor. Now turn its display flex with flex direction to be column. It should be vertical, not horizontal, right? And after this, I will give it a min width, min width of 200 pixels and max width of 300 pixels. And after that, I want to give it a text align to the center and uh, the minimum height, minimum height or you can say even height because I'm not going to give it a maximum height. So that's the reason. So min height should be 370 pixels. So if I give a maximum height, it cannot grow according to the image, but I want the card to grow according to the image. So that's the reason I'm not giving a max height, only a minimum height. But if I give only height, it's going to be fixed, not shrink, not even expand. So that's why I'm using min height here. Okay. And after this, I'm going to using border radius so that I could give a radius. So it should be one RAM. And after this, I will give some box shadow box shadow you will be no you will not be able to see it in a dark background so i will just so i will just be using i will not be using it because in a dark background it is useless to give a box shadow a black box shadow right but we can give it white so we'll take a look on it later on but now let's work on the margin Margins should be 1.5 rems and then there should be a transition so that we can add a hover effect 0.3 seconds Okay, now let's add an hover effect to the card. So I'll do and and then this then hover. I'll get a transform Transform a scale of 1.1 and you can see it's scaling up it's becoming big whenever I point uh, point on it or move the cursor to it and after this we should work on the other elements and first of all let's give a background to this so I'll give a background of white and that's it now let's work on the styling of these text okay and now I will select first of all I will select the card text card text and all the elements from this card text and I will give them a margin okay I'll give them a margin of 0.5 rem now why am I doing this because if I want to justify them accordingly like space around I want to give a minimum space to them I can't do that with flex because to adjust them with flex I have to give them a height but I don't know its height may be changing according to the size of the image so that's why I'm directly giving it some margin so if I save it okay if I save it you should be seeing that they are justified I mean they are getting some equal amount of spaces in between them now this is a little better than that okay and after this I just want the category text the category text okay and this is dot so i will be using a dot class so font rate font weight should be 400 not very much but that's good and i will reduce the opacity to make it a little grayish 
0 0.7 and you see it become a little grayish and after that I want some other element that is the brand text the branding text brand text and that's it and this should have a different color some kind of blue right so I'll use hashtag 428 F5 F5 this should be better and that's good it's kind of a blue good nice blue and after this we have dot price text the price text class and its font size should be large and then we have the dot offer text font size font size should be small that's perfectly fine now the card is ready now we just need to work on javascript so that we can add the cards with it and that's going to be a faster way to add cards and a shorter way also because if i am going to add them with with html i have to copy paste copy paste copy paste and i don't want to do that that's a very time consuming process so i'll just be copying this card up from here Control x fine and i will save this so that the card is vanished now we'll go to app.js and we'll work for it on here. First of all, let me create an element const product. This will be the holder of the cards. So products holders equal document dot query selector equals dot. Okay, before this, let me paste the HTML code here so that I don't lose it and dot what is it product holder yes let me copy it and that's it and now what we just need to do is we need to write a function for it so that we can add the elements right so let me create a function create card and this will have a parameter array so let me create the array first of all added the parameters let's create the function body here and what i will do i will create a variable called code and this will be our code so, so I'll, I'll give some back text and in here i will paste this code and control x fine and b okay and now we just need to add the links and all the things these parameters in this code so first of all let me remove this link okay and what i will do is i will create i will use esx function and i will write image here and here i will write the products let me just copy the snippet so that i i have no need to type it again and again so let's copy it and just write in it product and after this i'm gonna go for category and let's just remove this text and paste it and then write category and then brand name brand name and after that we have rating so let's write it control v and rating and then we have price and then the last one that is offer okay good enough yeah now what we just need to do is add this code into this product section right let me remove these comments and let me add them up okay uh, let me just select this products products dot inner html plus equals to and why we are doing plus equals to here if i do only equals to then what will it do it will replace the new card with the previous card but if i do plus equals to it will just add new cards right so i hope that you understand that and now let's add it 
let's add the code to it and that's it our function is ready now what we just need to do is call the function so we just need to call the function but before that we will create some arrays of the information about the about this okay so let me just copy it so guys i have created some arrays with the information the link the category and price all these and just and what i did is i just called the function multiple times and the times i have called the function the time how the number of cards has been created right here so item to item three i have created only four cards and just put them again and again so now let's take a look on this so let me save and let's take a look on here and that's it now it's like this because we haven't styled the product holder right so we need to style it i have already styled it but i think i have commented it right yeah here it is so let me style it and okay let me uncomment all that and that's it so we have a display flex this uh, you know about flex right and what will flex wrap do is let me tell you when the last card has reached here if there is no more space so that new card can come up it will go down here that's what flex wrap does and if you say no wrap it's the default value and align items center so that they all are centered in this block of height they all are centered and justify content space around so that they are evenly spaced around here and there okay so that's fine that's a complete project if i add more cards to it you can take a look so the okay let me just copy this once control c and that's it now it should be much more awesome and these are the last two cards and that's how it looks and if i add two more cards two more will be better so that the last row also gets two more cards so that our website looks much more awesome and you know the spread so that's looking great right and that's the website we have created in this video uh just remember all the links the links to the images the links to the source code and all things are available in the description so don't forget to check out the description and if you have any queries suggestions just throw them out in the comment section and you can just directly contact me through mails it's your wish so let's meet again in the new video. Until then, bye-bye.